One of the ways Jackrabbit can help you manage your business is with reports. Categories are used by Jackrabbit to organize your revenue and enrollment on reports, and can also be used to filter the information included. Jackrabbit has three category fields. All classes must be assigned a Category 1. Consider your revenue sources and how you would like to group and track revenue. Here are some suggestions for Category 1 names for various industries. It's important to think through your categories and how you want them to appear. Create a Category 1 for each. Review the Category 1 values Jackrabbit created for you and delete any you don't wish to use. To add a new Category 1, click on the Add Row button and enter the Category 1 name in the first column. Next, you can designate a color to the Category 1 values you assign to classes. The colors can help you visually on class calendars. All classes with the same Category 1 will show the color you assign. Choose a color by clicking on the crayons icon. Checking the Hide from Customers checkbox will hide the category in the drop-down list on your online registration form and in the parent portal. It does not hide the classes assigned to the category. Checking the Hide from Users checkbox will hide the category and drop-down lists within your Jackrabbit database. Remember to save changes. If you want to edit a category name later, keep in mind editing it will only change the value in the drop-down list and does not update any historical data in your database. Next, you may set up lists for Category 2 and Category 3 if you wish. Think of them as levels. The Category 2 level breaks down the Category 1 level, for example. They can also be used to filter information included on some reports and to filter classes on your online registration form and in the parent portal. For quick help, refer to Frequently Asked Questions on the menu. For examples of Category 1 lists and for more information, refer to our Help Center.